Ho joins forces with a group of Kung Fu masters to take on an old enemy with a new weapon ready to destroy all that is good. Hello there, everybody, and welcome back to RealScreenReviews.com. I'm movie critic Nick Yakabuchi, and our next movie review is the animated Kung Fu Panda 2, the sequel to the worldwide box office smash from 2008. Kung Fu Panda 2 opened worldwide on Friday, May 27, 2011, and it stars, of course, Jack Black in the lead role. And joining him are Angelina Jolie, Seth Rogen, David Cross, Jackie Chan, and Jean-Claude Van Damme. This film comes to us from director Jennifer Yu, a longtime art and behind-the-scenes animator that directed some of the Spawn TV show, and now gets a shot at a big-budget sequel in an animated franchise. She now sets her sights on raising the bar on what has become regarded as a new classic in a very short time. Now, our story is really very basic and can easily be derived just by watching the trailer alone. Poe has achieved his life's ambition by becoming a warrior and helps to keep the peace where else but in the Valley of Peace. He is just settling into his new role nicely when someone starts killing off all of the masters of Kung Fu throughout the land, and by doing this, they are also threatening to take down everything that is awesome in Poe's life. Together, Poe and the Furious Five set out on a quest that will take them across the far reaches of China, and with this comes the hope of finding and destroying an almost unknown and virtually unrelenting weapon. In order to overcome this new adversary and armament, Poe will need to turn to the ancient secrets and beginnings of his warrior ways, and only then will he be able to find courage and strength not to fail. Well, people, once again, this is almost a childhood storybook come to life, and every moment of it was a blast. When you go to the movies, you are basically looking for characters with charm for which you can root, adventure, and entertainment, and Kung Fu Panda 2 has all three. It really does stand apart from other films, but yet still manages to hold its own against anything from Pixar. The filmmakers here duplicate what was done in the original by making this sequel both visually striking and also filled with many bouts of humorous laughter and slapstick comedy. Jack Black shines in the role of the title character that seems to have been perfectly tailored to fit him. He always brings a likable charm and can expertly convey each and every one of the film's messages that is meant to be inferred. Mr. Black also receives a good bout of backup in the comedy department with big laughs coming from both Seth Rogen and David Cross, and even Gary Oldman turns up to lend his voice to the mysterious Peacock. The Peacock is supposed to guide our protagonist through new and challenging demands, but both his background and his actions cast more than a hint of a shadow. Kung Fu Panda 2 has a great cast and makes use of everyone involved and takes a very overused formula in the world of animation and raises it to above average. This film is funny and enjoyable from start to finish, and Jack Black must love this role because not only is this most likely the closest he'll ever get to being an action star, it is as well the best shape that he'll ever be in. The fight scenes that accompany the comedy are above average, boring on excellence, and the addition of the 3D glasses was nothing short of a welcome treat. Now, the story is about as intricate as a 15-minute episode of Scooby-Doo or the Super Friends, but it always does its best to be meaningful. At just around 90 minutes, Kung Fu Panda 2 was just as beautiful as its predecessor. Unfortunately, the plot was only as complex as a Rubik's Cube with just one color. Still, as far as entertainment goes for all age groups, Jack Black more than seals the deal as a family favorite in my book. He once again scores as the hapless goof, and I'm so glad that he has bounced back after the disappointing Gulliver from Christmas Day. This was a solid follow-up and compliment to the original, and I can easily call this a surefire winner with the youngsters. I enjoyed the cast, I enjoyed the animation, I enjoyed the action, and I enjoyed the film. A solid three stars out of four, and remember people, I'm not always right, but only when it comes to the movies. And thank you for your attention.